Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Let's look at the rackets of the ATP top 10, the current top 10. Monday 11th of April I'm recording this. As you know, the rankings change frequently, but this is the current top 10 that I'm looking at. Uh, and we're going to start with number 10, uh, Cameron Norrie, and move ourselves down to number 1. Uh, so Cameron Norrie, he uses a bubble at the pure control tour. Uh, it's painted to look like a pure strike 98. That's what he endorses. This is what happens to pretty much every pro. They rarely use what it's painted to look like, except for, for example, Carlos Alcaraz or, or Federer that uses his kind of autograph model or Iga Svantec. There are a few uh, exceptions to that rule. Um, so Cameron Ori, he uses a bubble out of pure control tour. Uh, it's actually very easy to tell with the head shape compared to the, the pure strike, which is a bit different. His uh, specs are uh, doable for us average humans, but a uh, bit heavy. 327 grams unstrung, so these are unstrung specs. 31.3 centimeters or 9 points head light, so you usually add a centimeter when you add strings, so it would be around 32.3 with strings. Swing weight, 299, and you add 30 points approx when you add strings. So that's a manageable swing weight for a pro. String pattern for this frame is 1620. And uh, so with strings, it's around 345 grams, 32.3 centimeter balance, and a 330 swing weight. A, a spec that I would happily play with myself, although I'm not even half as good as Cameron Ori. Uh, so it's actually a pretty um, doable uh, racket for uh, recreational players in terms of specs. Uh, I don't know the strings. If you do, please uh, let me know via comments, Instagram or so. But it's a control-oriented racket that works for his baseline defensive game. Number nine, Felix Auger Aliasim. Big strides in his game early this year. Uh, after eight attempts in ATP finals, he now has a title, so that's great. He uses an older Pure Arrow VS 2017 edition, I think. Uh, the weird thing is that it's painted to look like a regular Pure Arrow. I'm not sure why Babla does that, considering that there is a Pure Arrow VS that Alcaraz uses, so I have no idea. The Pure Arrow VS is a good racket for whippy forehands. You can tell that from both Alcaraz and uh, Ojeda Lesimi, even Holger Rune. They have pretty big forehands. They, they use that weapon uh, as their kind of main strength of the game. Alcaraz, obviously, he plays everything well, pretty much. So unstrung specs of Felix Racket, 98 square inches, 27 inch length, 314 grams, uh, balance 32 centimeters, swing weight 308. So the strong specs would be around 330 grams, 33 centimeters, and 338 swing weight. This swing weight is very similar to Federer, and it's kind of that whip beforehand swing weight that hovers around 340 usually. So you can tweak your specs to suit your game style. Uh, number eight, Andrew Rublev. Uh, sadly, I don't have Andre uh, Rublev's uh, specs for his Gravity Pro Pro stock. He did make a switch from the Wilson 6195 some years ago, and uh, he seems very happy with that. He used to use Laxlon Adrenaline for a long time. I'm not sure if he's now gone to Lynx Tour, which would be my pick from the Poly strings, but I don't have his specs. So if you have Rublev specs, let me know. But it's for sure a Gravity Pro Pro stock and it's slightly extended. So he gets a lot of plow through uh, with that racket, as you can tell. Number seven, Casper Rude, ultra consistent, big forehand. I'm thinking of David Ferrer when I see Casper uh, Rude play. Uses a Yonex DR100 Plus. A friend of mine actually owns his rackets. It's 27.5 inches long, that model. Actually a little bit longer, according to my buddy. So maybe 27.75. Uh, approximately 330 grams strong and a balance of 33.5 centimeters. He uses a hybrid setup with uh, Yonex Polytor Strike and Yonex Polytor Pro in the crosses. It's number six, Matteo Berrettini, thundering serve, forehand, dominant guy. Backhand has a tendency to let him down at times, which is why he's often using the slice. He endorses the latest Extreme MP, uses the older Microgel Extreme MP uh, with a pro stock code TGK219. His specs are heavy. Uh, I actually have a one racket, a similar mold, a similar pro stock mold to his. And his racket is 326 grams unstrung, 32.6 balance unstrung, and a 320 swing weight-ish. Not 100% sure on the swing weight, but that's what I heard. So hits are up 
it's up to around 350 uh, when he adds string. He used to use Signum Pro Firestorm at 23 kilos or 51 pounds. I'm not sure because if you look at his um, his stencil now on his racket, he doesn't have that Signum Pro S at the bottom. He used to have head and Signum Pro stencil, but I, now I only see head. So maybe he's with Lynx Tor or some other head string these days. I, I don't know for sure. Number five, Stefano Tsitsipas stayed loyal to his Wilson Blade 98 Pro stock for all these years. Uh, is it the famous K-Blade 98 that many pros use or a later version that we don't know? Uh, his specs are according to Impacting Tennis, another tennis website you can check out. He has some good informa information there. Um, so modifications, he has 10 grams of resin in the handle, strings, his um, racket around 25-24 kilos, Luxelon 4G, so pretty stiff string bed, especially on an 1820, that's why he was seen testing strings, hybrid setups, all the power got and 4G got, but I think he's back now to 4G, the very durable, very tension maintenance friendly string but stiff on the arm. Rafael Nadal at number four. It's been written about plenty enough. I did this video where I talk about the three goats, Djokovic, Fed and Rafa and their different rackets. Please check that one out. It was a while ago I did that. He uses the first edition of the Aero Pro Drive. I've actually held this racket in various paint jobs and now he endorses the Pure Aero Rafa edition which looks great in my opinion. Um, it was a question whether he tried a different string gauge during the Australian Open. Uh, I heard that he's tested the 1.30 gauge, but probably he's back now to the 1.35 gauge of RPM Blast. So very, very durable string. He always pretty much strings it around 56 pounds and never really tweaks around too much with his gear. Uh, so it's a Air Pro Drive 2005, the first one. He adds 17 grams of lead, so 12 grams of 12 and 5 grams in the handle. And his uh, specs are 358.5 strong swing weight. So that's a pretty hefty racket. I actually got the check from Nicky Runs, his Rafa personal, and it's a 340 grams approx strong uh, and uh, a balance of 33.5 centimeters. So this is a, a hefty Hefty frame, a lot to swing, and he makes big, big power with this frame, of course. Number three, Alexander Zverev. Um, big shots, big talent, hasn't made it quite happen in a Grand Slam. He uses the Head Gravity Pro stock like Andrew Rublev. I think it's standard length. The specs are 343 grams, balance 33 centimeters or four points. Um, head light, so these are strong specs, overgrip and dampener. 360 swing weight, pretty high swing weight, flex is 64 RA, and the beam is 20 millimeters, so it's a Gravity Pro pretty much with some added weight. His string setup, he has head hook touch, 1.25 at 24 kilos or 53 pounds in the mains, and Bablat VS touch natural gut, many pros like natural gut in a hybrid setup, as I said before. 1.30 gauge at 25 kilos. Then we have number two currently. He was world number one for a week or so. Daniil Medvedev uh, definitely threatens Djokovic for the top spot. Another 6195 user that uh, changed when he got offered a contract from Technifiber. He strings his racket with Technifiber Razor Code White. 1.25 gauge at 53 pounds. His strong swing weight is 347 uh, according to ProStockTennis.com, who sell ProStock rackets, and they're selling actually one of his matched used racket from 2018. And that has the following specs, 354 grams strong, 31.4 centimeters, kind of like a 6195, I'm not at all surprised to see these specs. Stiffness, 66 strong, and there's an 18 mains and 19 crosses, similar to Djokovic string pattern, which we will get to. So 95 square inch uh, head size. Many pros still like those smaller head sizes for more control. The pro stock, it's a Technifiber Dynacore 305. Uh, okay, number one spot, no big surprises there. Novak Djokovic. Um, recent months, we haven't seen much of him due to his uh, vaccination stand and all the mandates, but now he's back on court in Monte Carlo. Uh, when I'm talking to you, he's been a head guy most of his career. Uh, had the good taste to use the head liquid metal radical tour in his younger years. Switched to Wilson H22 Pro Stock for a brief period, but then went back to uh, head. And that was kind of a version of his old radical. First, the Pro Stock code was PT113B. Uh, I actually tried this frame. Uh, it had a tighter 1820 string pattern, pretty beefy weight, 95 square inches not 100 square inches like the Speed Pro he endorses. So please make keep in mind that 
pro players endorse one racket, they use something else. Doesn't mean that we should use what they actually use, and it's a big hoax. It's usually better for us to use the Speed Pro, but that's how it works. You can call it dirty, you can call it misleading or whatever. Uh, it's what it is. It's, now it's pretty open that pro players use something else. So it's not really a big secret anymore. So Head has now created uh, a racket called the PT346 for him, 346.1. It is slightly, slightly longer. I had Mark Petchy, uh, a British commentator uh, on, maybe it was Prime. Yeah, it was probably Prime. Uh, he said that it's actually not longer. Um, and uh, so I, that was a bit surprising because I actually have Novax racket here and I can tell it's ever so slightly longer. So it's just a little, little bit. You're going to see in the picture. Uh, I also have another uh, good top four player it's a racket that I compare with. And it's, it's a little, little bit longer. I, I put it at 27.1 inches. Uh, the idea is that it doesn't need to be so heavy and he still gets a, a tiny bit more on his shots. Unstrung specs of Novax. I've measured them myself. Uh, 325.6 grams. 31.9 centimeter balance point and a 331 swing weight. So you add strings, you're going to have a 360 swing weight. So that's Novak and that's all for the top 10 players in the world right now. If you find this video useful or informative, let me know. Please click like, subscribe and turn on notifications. If you want to check out my affiliates, please do so. For example, play your court where you can find a coach or a hitting partner. 50% uh, off for their platform with uh, the link in the description below. Uh, if you want to support the work I do, learn more about my pro stock collection and other rackets I have and, and other things, we join patreon.com slash tennis nerd. And if you want to buy a racket, check out Tennis Warehouse and Tennis Warehouse Europe and so on. The links are all in the description. Big thanks for your support. This is all. Have a nice day now and don't forget to play some tennis.